American Airlines is getting on board with Delta and United. The carrier making major changes to its frequent flyer program. The company will switch to revenue-based mileage earning, which means flyers will have to spend more to earn more. So with all the cuts, are loyalty programs really even worth the trouble? Joining me now is Ben Schlappig, a travel consultant, blogger, and founder of One Mile at a Time. I like that. Also, Gary Left, a blogger for View from the Wing and co-founder of Mile Point, frequent flyer community. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Gary, let me start with you. What sticks out to you about these changes? Is it still worth it to be loyal? Well, Melissa, thanks. It's great to be here. I think the thing for folks to understand is that American Airlines is copying what Delta did and then United did for rewarding flyers for the actual flights they take uh, based on the cost of their ticket, not the distance they fly. So the leisure traveler is probably going to earn fewer miles for their flights than before, but there's no question it's worth joining the program and being a member because it still doesn't cost you anything to do that. And the points do eventually add up as long as you don't let your points expire with some kind of activity in the Advantage program every 18 months. So definitely still worth it. It may take a little bit longer longer to get those free flights, but you can still earn just the same way as before yeah. for all the other things that earn miles. Ben, what is the best way to accumulate miles? I mean, now there are so many ways to do it, whether you sign up for one of those credit cards where you get a dollar every time you spend, or if you actually, um, you know, go out and fly, or sometimes they let you buy the miles when you're buying your ticket, you know, for an extra $50, you can have another however many thousands of miles. Which of those are good? Right. Ironically, actually, most miles are issued through non-flying means. So there are more miles earned through uh, not flying, for example, through credit cards, dining, even buying miles uh, than people earn through actually flying. I would say the best option is uh, credit cards. Uh, there are credit cards which offer you sign-up bonuses of 50 or 60,000 miles just for applying for the credit card, and then you can sometimes earn three, four, or even five points per dollar spent. Um, so that, for the average consumer, really, is the best way to accumulate miles nowadays. Gary, they always offer you that. You can, you know, for a, a couple extra dollars, you can buy some more miles. I mean, it always reminds me when you go into Best Buy and they try and sell you the warranty, and you know <laughs> you're not going to be able to find the warranty when your thing breaks anyway. Does it make sense to buy those extra miles, or is that a total ripoff? Well, I don't think that it makes sense to buy the miles when you're going through the purchase process for a ticket. First of all, that may be more expensive than other times that they'll sell them to you at a discount. But second of all, you're, you're definitely going to prefer cash over miles, except when the miles put you over the hump to have enough for a specific award that you're ready to book. A program like American Advantage will even let you put the award that you want on hold for five days before you buy the miles you need in your account. So a few extra miles to get the award you need works great. And even occasionally, you can buy international business and first class travel at a discount when it's yeah. available as an award ticket. Find out if the award's available, then how many miles it is, then see if it makes sense to buy the incremental miles to have the trip. Ben, I'm just going to keep using this segment in order to figure out my own travel and mileage questions so let's keep going when I when I'm in the taxi here in New York they let you if you swipe you could pay with miles instead that's not the only place I mean there are other times when you're buying things online um, that you can use your miles to do things other than travel is that a scam and a waste of miles or is that a good idea <laughs> I would say it is not a scam, but it is a terrible use of miles. I want to cry every time I see someone redeem really? their miles uh, for merchandise. Um, typically, you're getting less than a cent per mile of value. So I would say in 99% of cases, you should always be redeeming your miles for flights rather than um, all the other things they offer you, from hotels to toasters to uh, whatnot, to yeah. taxi rides. Gary, is there an airline or a credit card that's the best, or are they all kind of the same now? If you're a real miles junkie, I mean, I know people who plan their whole vacation, you know, sort of based on getting this wonderful ticket in first class that they paid nothing for. They're gleeful. They brag. I mean, it's really, it's a lot to be around, i got to tell you. Mm -hmm. But is there a program? that's better than the others. Well, Melissa, then you don't want to be around Ben or I because we do take <laughs> advantage of these things all the time. Okay, well, then um, share there, your tips. Yeah. There really is a lot of great value. I do think that the Alaska Airlines mileage plan program still stands above uh, the others in rewarding uh, travel based on the distance flown. It's a generous program. I find Advantage to be still marginally better than Mileage Plus and uh, Sky Miles for sure. But for credit cards, you don't have to choose the credit card of the airline you're flying the most. I'm a big fan of points that transfer 
transfer to a variety of different airline mileage programs. American Express has their membership rewards, Chase has their ultimate rewards, City has thank you rewards, where you're able to put points into the program that has the award that you want when you know what, where you want to go and who has the availability. That flexibility is really valuable to have. Ben, what's your very best trick that you, that you wouldn't share? I won't tell anyone. It'll just be a secret between us. Well, if you promise not to tell anyone, um, I would say, to be honest, try to redeem miles when you can for first or business class. Uh, most people would never think of this because they assume you could never pay for it because a ticket might cost $10,000. Uh, but the truth is, when you're redeeming miles, it's typically only marginally more expensive uh, to book business or first class. So, for example, uh, you could redeem for products like Emirates First Class, where you can get a private suite and even mm -hmm. shower on the plane, um, and only do that for a few more miles than you'd otherwise usually pay. So I would say that's the best trick. I'm going to save this segment forever, I have to tell you. Thanks to both of you. Great stuff. See you next time. Thanks, Eric. Melissa.